I think it's fairly common knowledge that you guys know exactly where I get my caffeine from because I don't like coffee. The last two years of my YouTube channel has been fueled by Grenade Energy and today you join me on my latest quest in a hunt for performance, innovation and adrenaline. Three passions that I share with Grenade and over the last two years we've created some amazing stuff together and Grenade have created fundamentally a family of superheroes and today I get to meet one of those superheroes a guy that I've been following on Instagram you've probably seen some of his videos of his crazy invention today we're going down to Goodwood Motor Circuit under this impeccable blue sky the perfect weather for a video that I've been waiting so long to film because this guy really has created my childhood dream Welcome to the training ring. <laughs> that has completely thrown me. <laughs> I mean, I had so many things in my head of what I talked to you about. Because no, it just this is, your brain yeah, now, I'm right, just, yeah. I've just watched you take off with a rucksack on your back. That's the coolest rucksack. Doesn't it real, does it? No. Your brain goes, yeah, I can see it, and I can't see any wires, but it can't be real. Still trying to get my head around it, so it's. So what's the, how fast can you go in, in on that? How fast? How fast can you go? So we set the Guinness World Record at 85 miles an hour, but that was using a leg wing as well. So if you put a, a fabric wing between your legs like a wingsuit. Can you control? And then, well, what happens is, uh, as you start to go, so this is all vector thrust flying. So you point the thrust down, you go up, flare it, and you come down again. It's yeah. very simple. So now I've come here kind of using you as a little bit of inspiration of helping me with that. I now want to go much faster to the point where I just want a new car. I actually just want that. Well, do you know what we should Can do? I buy so, that? Can <laughs> you can have a go. You should have can a go. I? Feel what it's like. Yeah. You should definitely. Oh my have, God. Because it, 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 I mean, we've got you know, we've got people here today learning. It, it's something that, strangely, if you just relax into it with that tether system, so you can't even stumble over, like skiing, snurf, you know, surfing, uh, snowboarding, um, you know, even riding a bike. It's something you can just feel, and it usually doesn't take very long to start feeling the basics of it. Oh. I did not think I was going to take flight today. Yeah, you should have a go, yeah. Um, but also about the car, what yeah. we've done, I mean, under that under that gullwing door, I mean, let, let me show you where this suit lives. In fact, yes. I'll take it off. So if I'd had the, uh, there we go, three goes. Um, <laughs> if I'd had the fob, I could have done it with a fob. But genuinely, oh, Tesla, you see, <laughs> it should go higher up than that. But look, genuinely, apart from the fact the door sometimes on a cold day doesn't seem to want to go very high. Uh, there we go. Um, this is actually where we go and there we go. Leave the uh, suit. So actually, it's quite practical. Look at that, and then it just sits in there. But with the GTR, in fact, look, there we go. I've got to remember to tether it down. But there it is. It's quite funky, isn't it? <laughs> that is so, properly cool. Uh, with the GTR, I don't know how big the boot is, but you should look at whether we could slide a jet suit in there because this could be the jet suit rapid could... deployment vehicle. Where's my key? You tell me, you tell me well, whether, we, whether I mean, we can fit. Because you can, you can try and put stuff in quite flat. Tell me whether I need a new car. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I don't know how deep that goes. I don't know how, ah, it's not very deep, is it? But what you could do, I've always thought it'd be very cool, is you open this for it to come out. Yes. And then, and if you see the arms I was using, right? Yeah. So think praying mantis, you know, yeah, some yeah. clever sort of engineering structure that as it Everything hatches out, it goes out. da da, and, it, and you just come here. And you just go click, 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 slide your arms in and then come out. It is a bit small that, but So we need probably, to we need to modify this well, it quite makes, heavily. It makes it a more complicated Should it design. be a convertible? Should we just cut the roof? <laughs> <off>? <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> uh, but if you actually had it, if you actually here, here we go. So if we use that, if that was a jet suit, if it actually slid like that. Okay, so remove the rear seats which are useless already. I don't know, you've probably got enough depth. It's a complicated uh, move, movement, that's yeah. the only thing. But that would be very cool to do. I, I always think it's quite fun to just deploy the flight capability out of a car. I mean, it would be the coolest thing in the world if... Can you class it as a hobby? Is that a... I don't want it to sound derogatory, but I'm thinking on a oh, Sunday... Some of our, on some a, of our clients, I mean, you on know, a, just on a, Yeah, on a fun. Sunday afternoon, rather than go for a Sunday drive, go for a Sunday fly. We'll go for a drive and then for a fly. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because whilst it's very cool, <laughs> you can't go many, many, many miles with it because it just it doesn't have range. Okay. It would do like 5k if you really wanted to. It's but not too bad. It's not really meant for that. I mean, if you look around the periphery of this airfield, you can pretty much go to anywhere you can see 
stow the engines, do a task, yeah. unstow them, and then fly back to where you've got again. Okay. And that will be, you still have fuel left over after doing that. So that for the paramedic, military, it's entertainment idea. type things yeah. is enough. Yeah. Uh, it just, it's not possible to get the power and fuel into something really small. So both are, each arm has two jets? Yeah, and that's just simply so the net power feels like it's going up your arm. And how do you control those with so there's a throttle trigger in one, one hand. You'll see this in a minute. Um, there's a throttle trigger in one hand. So you squeeze the throttle, in comes the power to a preset level, and then it's just vectored thrust flying. So to take off, you just vector down, up you come. Yeah. So to arrest your ascent, if you flare out, you come down again. And okay. then all the rest is as strangely natural as riding a bike. It's weird. You, do, you can't read a book about it. You just feel it, and it's very intuitive. My 14-year-old can do it. Amazing. It's very cool. Um, and then the rear engine at the back is the third leg of the camera tripod of support, if that makes okay, sense. Okay, to make it a bit more stable. Well, you'd have two thrust vectors, and so you'd be balancing around so them, yeah, like a yeah. two-legged camera tripod. <laughs> yeah. they're, 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 they've not sold so well, right? <laughs> so if you've got the third leg, then that gives you that triangle of support. And by adjusting those three vectors, this one adjusts by itself with you moving your arms, uh, then that's where you get all that fine precision and control. Is it mad to think when you started out on this journey, like those first initial test flights to come here, because you've just described it as as easy as riding a bike. Did you ever yeah. think it was going to be as easy as how you feel no, on a day-to-day -day basis? 20, that's 2016, I mean, March 2016, I had one engine on one arm and messed around just feeling the thrust, which is actually strangely spongy and sort of friendly, powerful but friendly. Okay. It's not trying to tear your arm off, it's not whipping around, it's just a push. Yeah. So I thought, okay, well then I just need more of them in the right places. And I did the first flight in November that year with them on the back of my legs. And then it was a horrible, untethered, balancing nightmare, frankly. Yeah. All in those days, I never imagined that it would get as far as it's got now. Yeah. I mean, we've had 500 people learn to do this to varying degrees. That's incredible. You know, and it is, if you've got the right aptitude, um, you know, like Kat today, this is her first day. I mean, she's just applying that dancer background. Yeah, and it's yeah. just that body The control awareness. is it's crazy, unbelievable. Right? Yeah, I'm not um, going to be that controlled. Yeah, it's, to be honest, the first go is just about feeling that balance. If I'd known that I was going to fly today, I probably would have practiced at home a little bit. Not much Jumping practice. out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it's probably watching films of other people doing it because you can sort of imagine yourself in that position yeah. and stuff. But yeah, let's get you going and having a go. We've got to put some boots on because you might get slightly warm ankles. On Woo! Place, but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, the fashion for no socks or very low socks is not ideal not for jet seating. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, let's go and get you. Uh, get you I want to see you fly some more as well. That seriously was not part of the plan that I get into the suit. Meeting Richard and coming down here was all that was on my agenda. Um, we've had obviously planning meetings, we've got a WhatsApp group. There was never one mention of me even attempting to take flight. And going back to what I was saying to Richard, I've always had this desire looking up at birds wildlife, even flying on a plane to me fascinates me so much. I've got a couple of friends that are pilots and I think that is the coolest job in the world. But seeing what Richard has done and the innovation and development into gravity is absolutely mind-blowing. You can see why Grenade want to be a part of a project like this and be involved with Richard because the way that they innovate and the way that Richard innovates and the way that I create and constantly I'm trying to better everything that I do is the perfect synergy and reason why together there's this weird little family of crazy people that do stuff like that. And the fact that I'm here today on a day where the weather is just unbelievable, um, watching people learn to fly in jet suits um, is a day that I'll never forget.